What's going on guys, I'm Mikado. Welcome to the second tutorial for Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Today I'll be going over all the basics that you will need to get started. So if you missed last video, make sure to go check it out. I showed you guys how to install the editor and how to open up your first game. So what I'm gonna do in this video though is go through all of the very basics, like I said, kind of get you guys comfortable with the editor. I'm gonna go through what you guys need for the very basics. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually create a blank island. That's all I'll be doing for this tutorial. You can obviously choose from any of these you want, but I'd suggest going with a blank and kind of follow what I'm going to do. But first thing I'm going to do is click blank, have Unreal Revision Control on, and make sure to save it to wherever you want. I'm just going to leave it as is. We're going to name it Tutorial Map, and then just click Create. All right, so once it creates, you should see this here. You're probably wondering, how do I move around? So first thing you want to do is hold right click, and this will let you look around wherever you want, and then use WASD to move around. You can also left click to do that. I don't know why you'd want this. Maybe, I don't know. And then scrolling, use your scroll wheel to speed up your speed. We're going super fast here. And then scroll down to go super slow. You can also change your camera speed right up here using the sliders here. I like around six, but that's just the basics kind of movement here. Now let's go over the UI kind of thing here. So let's start at the bottom, the content browser. This is basically everything that you can put into your game that you've imported into the editor. So Fortnite, they already gave you this lovely setup here. You got prefabs, you got props, you got lighting, you got galleries, you got everything you could want. So let's go into galleries for an example. Let's go into building and you can actually move this up here doing that. Let's go to craggy cliff floor and wall gallery. Let's place down a wall. Boom, that simple. Drop and drag. Simply take it. Boom, boom. Very simple. We're actually going to delete those. That's basically what this is. You take things, just drop them in, and that's that. Next up here we got is the outliner. This is everything that is inside your game. So we got two spawn pads here. So we'll see them in here. That's that. This grid, we'll see this giant grid here. This is in the game. So we actually see grid plane up here. So that's all these grids we got here. It's something you can do too is simply search. Let's search grid. All right, we already see in there, but let's just search grid. You can actually right click and delete it or click the delete key on your keyboard and it'll delete it right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The outliner is basically everything that is inside your game runs your game or play, things that players can see. Everything that's inside your game. Next thing we got here is details and world settings. Details is basically when you click on a, an object, you can actually see the details of it. We got the mesh here, we got the material, we got lighting, we got everything you could like visible, make it visible or not. Just all the settings really. It's, this is basically the world. So this doesn't have to do with a singular object. Time of day, here we go. You can change your night, day, night cycle thing here. You probably won't be using this much at all at the beginning. Next up here at the top, we got this stuff up here, selection mode. We got a save button here. Click it to save and it will save. Selection mode, we got four different things here. We got landscape, we got selection, we got landscape, we got modeling, we got animation. Selection is basically when you're like moving things around, resizing things, doing things that doesn't involve landscaping or modeling or animation. It's basically that. Landscape, you click on it. We can actually create a landscape here. We're not gonna go over that in this video though. That'll actually be the next video I'll be making. We also got modeling. I haven't really been in here too much. I kind of know, you just kind of drop in like, I'll probably go over this in another video, but um, that's modeling. I heard it's not very good. Uh, you probably wanna use Blender instead, but animations, we got animations here. I haven't touched this yet. So hopefully in a future video, I'll make a video on this and learn it. So let's just go back to selection. Right here, we got project here. We got a lot of settings in here. There's a lot of stuff in there. You can log out, news, creator portal, kind of just project stuff. This here, you click on it. We actually got fab. This is basically more stuff you can drop and drag into your game, but I'm not gonna go through that. We also got lights, cinematic stuff. Again, we'll probably go over these in a future video. This video, we're not going to. We got verse here. I haven't touched it. I don't I don't know really much about code. I'm gonna stay away from that for a little while for now. <laughs> launch session. You can actually launch session and you can actually test your map. This is basically to test your map or you can build using Creative 1.0 where you're kind of flying around and you have your phone and all that. That's that. You got some settings here for that too. I'll definitely end up using that in another video. Then here at the top, we got perspective. You can actually click this and it will bring it to the top of the map. Um, Bottom of it. I'm not gonna use it. I don't plan to use it. I don't know why I'd use it, but I'm sure there's a reason. I'll probably end up using it in the future, but right now it's not really important. Lit, you can click it, you kind of change your, I don't explain it, but there's wireframe. It'll show all the wireframe of the map. I'm not gonna touch it again. It's not something we'll need at the beginning. This stuff we're not gonna need right now. Time of day, this is pretty cool. You can actually click it and you know, that's dope. That's really cool. Next up over here, we got select objects. This is just to click on objects and edit them. Next one here, we got select and translate objects. Click on it and you can actually move around objects. Pretty cool. You can move them side, you can move them up. Next one here, we got rotate. So you can actually rotate this. So I can do this, I can do, I can do this, I can go down. 
pretty cool. Selecting scale objects, this here, you can actually make them thick, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter, you can just resize the whole thing to be like together. Pretty cool. And something to you that you guys should try to use is QWER. This is basically shortcuts to access these right here. I use this so much, so helpful. Just make sure to use it. We're gonna skip these two things. We're gonna go right to here, S grid snap. This is basically your grid snap. If you're familiar with Creative 1.0, you'll know what this is. It's basically, you can change it way up to here. It will just give you grid snap. Pretty cool. Same with this one here, rotation. So when we're on the rotate object mode, you can change the how far it rotates. Same with the scale snap. So this will kind of snap you grid snap to when you're rescaling things. We also got the camera speed. We already went over that. But that's it, guys. That's pretty much the basics for the Unreal Editor. Kind of your UI and kind of, you know, the basics that we'll be needing in future videos. So, yes, that's it for this video. Next video, I'll be going over landscaping. So, be sure to check that one out. Link will be in the description down below or in a pinned comment once I get the video up. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials. Bye-bye.